Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Stephen. Um, I'm with the Juniper Mist team in Europe, and we're just going to go through some examples of using both the Juniper Mist APIs as well as the Echo APIs to make your lives easier when deploying projects at scale, essentially. So uh, this is pretty much all demo, so hopefully the demo gods will be on my favor. Um, the first thing I did, which I'm not actually going to run through, was use a Postman runner collection to basically bulk create a whole bunch of sites. And we, we've had customers create 10 sites, 20 sites, 100 sites, 10,000, and even 15,000 sites using this, because this basically then sets up your dashboard to have all of your networks, all of your sites that you want to have, without having to go through manually duplicating those. You can set all the addresses, the time zones, RF templates, site groups, every sort of parameter that you see here in MIST available through the API. You can automate through things like Postman runner scripts. So that was great. I've created these six sites just to show for you as a demo at the moment. Now, in these sites, there's no floor plans right now. I've just got a couple of APs that I basically want to assign to those floor plans and you know, get these floor plans for these sites in here easily. So the first method we can use for this is either manually adding a floor plan, manually scaling it, manually placing the APs, or you can use your auto placement and auto orientation features. But if we've already got a single source of truth, like our Echo project files, we can use that to import. So I can import that project. I can say I want to import all of these sites, which I could actually do. Um, I'm just going to basically match this against a CSV file of these access points that I want to match here. And away we go. It'll import the floor plans for this particular site. Um, and then we can actually see what's been matched. And we can choose to ignore sites that don't have matching APs. In this case, I've just chosen to match the ones that have APs there. And away we go. So the floor plan's there. We can now go in here and have a look at this. I've got my APs have now been claimed from my inventory to that site automatically as well. I've had to, I haven't had to do that. I've been able to skip that step. Um, so those APs will actually then become connected um, and they'll pull down their SSIDs and configuration and uh, away they go. So they'll actually show up there. But this has basically imported the placement on the floor plan, the height, the orientation. Um, you know, this is an AP12 under a desk, a good, uh, you know, Dan Jones method of deploying Wi-Fi under, un under the desks. But this is one way that you can make that easier. So um, we basically just killed you know, five steps and one step here to basically automate that. You can see that AP is already online. It'll be serving clients once those SSIDs are up. Now, this is great for a single site at a time. What if I wanted to do the same process for 10, 20, 100, 1,000, 10,000 sites? That's where automation with Python scripts comes in. So what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to delete this floor plan because we're going to do the same thing again, but at bigger scale, and using this Python scripts that our Automation expert Thomas over in uh, France has actually done using this library that he's built of all these Python scripts that are publicly available, just like the Postman runner collection that we maintain internally ourselves. This one actually goes through and does the same process of importing the Echo project files, matching to a CSV of the MAC addresses and AP names that you want to put in there. And it makes it really easy to run this because you can use Python launcher. You don't even have to be a Python expert. You can just use this IDE to basically run this command prompt based uh, process and say, I want to use this against my uh, you know, global one cloud. I'm going to log in with my Gmail account. And basically, you know, obviously, if you have two-factor auth on there, it's going to um, actually ask for that. But then you basically say, which site do you want to then automate this against? I want to do it against my demo site one. And just to make sure that we're not fat fingering anything, it's going to ask me to confirm the site. Done. That was it. It's done, literally. That quickly is how it imports those uh, sites and floor plans in there. So if I refresh this, <coughs> we'll see that I've actually imported multiple um, uh, floor plans across these sites. And, you know, voila, there we go. All these sites now have floor plans in just a matter of seconds. So you can see how time effective this is in terms of rolling out sites and getting your single source of truth. All the APs that would have been matched in these if this was a proper production uh, you know, example, all those AP locations, orientations, heights, notes, names, labels, everything, matching the site templates and the organizational templates for your config, all pulled in, ready to go, ready for deployment. So that's nice and easy, right? So what about you've done your deployment, you've got your configuration, you've gone through your checklist like what, what Keith was mentioning before, you've done user acceptance testing on site, you've validated everything, you've got your single source of truth in there, you've got all your APs and the floor plans, but as we know as Wi-Fi engineers, not everything gets installed where we want it to be installed. There's fire sprinklers, there's emergency exit signs, there's ceilings where the architects have designed, this has got to be very aesthetically pleasing, we can't place APs there, so APs get moved out into different areas. So 
This is a perfect case to leverage your validation survey. We're all doing validation surveys in our deployments, aren't we? Yeah? Yeah? Good. Okay. So this is where you can leverage your Echohow project files that you've got. So I've got my survey here that I've done with Autopilot just around this office with the three APs. So it looks a mess, but uh, you know, it picked up more rogue APs than what my actual APs were. But this is a nice example of you know, a lot of the, the vendors these days, you've got this ability to import from directly from the Echohow cloud into your vendor's cloud managed dashboard. And this is the example here of how to do this with Juniper Mist. Same process again. It will basically pull in the APs that you've got already in production deployment, but it will pick up your surveyed AP locations. So the actual real locations that your APs have been deployed in, surveyed with your sidekick one or two, and it will actually place them there too. So you go into Echohow Insights, you've got your dashboard of all your projects, and you basically say, this is the site that I want to then uh, you know, export across to um, what I've got in my MIST dashboard, and you go to integrations, and you basically do a project export. So I can literally just come in here. Um, I don't mind if you see this API key because I'm going to blow it away at the end of it. And similar process to the script. We say, what cloud region do we want to do? Which site do we want to do? And which organization is relevant here? And um, which floor? Do we want to do all floors? Do we want to just do one floor? I only surveyed one floor. I've only got APs on one floor. Um, do you actually want to import the heat maps as well? So if you want to have nice, pretty heat maps of a static point in time when you did your survey, just some people like to see that data in the floor plans, you can do that as well. But you just basically export that. So API to API, it'll take a few minutes, but it will actually get there, and we'll be able to go back in and see when the Akaha Cloud has talked to the MIST Cloud and basically started importing these floor plans and placing the APs where they should be, where they've been surveyed. Um, and the other great thing is any notes that you've got and even photos that you've taken of APs as you're going around, it will actually import these into MIST as well, which is pretty cool. So um, let's have a look at the audit logs and see if Echohow's done its thing already. There you go. You can see in the audit logs for MIST, Echohow has already updated these uh, device names and the placements on the floor plans. Let's actually go and see and have a look on this live floor plan view of which one it's imported. This is the one it's imported from the survey file. So again, you know, it hasn't impacted anything in production. The APs are already there. They're already online. They can already have clients connected. And you know, if we had a nice survey image there of a funny AP, it's not an AP, but it's these guys, obviously, um, any of those images will come across in your survey file. So again, that's just saving time to collect all of that data at a single point in time and a single source of the truth to then bring that in and make your lives easier. So what I'll do is I'll package these up as screen recordings for these demos, and we'll reference these um, libraries that we have here for Python, MIST APIs, MIST API courses, and also the Postman Runner collection. So you can all have this as a reference and walk through these um, in addition to this walking through the actual um, you know, how-to guides here, because it's actually useful to see a real-world implementation of this so you can actually see how it works in action. So that was integrating and automating. No worries, mate. Thank you. Thank you.